Okay, amigos, this is a special one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Life by Design, Nicaragua. Yeah. Gringo loco, lunatico. Una vida. Woo. How good is this? So good. Hey, we're in the jungle. We're in another hot spring. I'm with Jared Maderberg. Here's another edition of Better Stories. What's up, cabron? Hey, man. This is good fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, hit him with 30 seconds of who you are. Uh, wait, wait, hey, wait do you hear this. So my name is Jared Maidenberg. I'm sitting here obviously with Michael Rutherford. We are in the rainforest of Costa Rica. It's pouring cold rain. We're in natural volcanic hot springs. This is absolutely epic. Or, as they say in uh, Costa Rica, pura vida. <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing. I sent this dude... I sent him a video and said, hey, we're going to got this keto thing. Somebody referred him to me. Uh -oh. Matty, Matty Valdespino did. Matty V. And he said, he said, oh, you call the company, prove it. Why don't you send me some and prove it, you bastard? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's how it went. He, uh, I got two samples in the mail, July. Back to June 2015. And we drank them, we felt it immediately, and just got excited about helping other people experience what we experienced. So he proved it, we started paying it forward, and here we are now, what, a little more than seven years later, we're all sitting in the natural hot springs here this week out. <laughs> At the base of a volcano. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, one of the neatest things that uh, I think is so powerful about our business, and a lot of people I don't know if they miss it, they just don't understand it fully. Is people join our business for their reasons, they don't join them for your reasons. And you know, one of my favorite things about you and your family is you join them for your reasons. You help a lot of people accomplish big goals and you hit your goals. You know, maybe share just a sentence or 30 seconds worth of your journey over the years. This isn't your first road, yeah. you've been doing entrepreneurship for a while, but then yeah. when you get a hold of this and it works. I mean, what's that like? What's, a, you know, some feedback you'd give somebody watching this? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, we've been swinging the bat within entrepreneurship for 20 plus years. I'm now 51 years young. I know I don't look it, certainly don't act like it. Uh, but look, this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, stand up and hit him the gun show. This is for, oh, come on. This is for Mitch and Nick. Come on, boys. <laughs> I'm not flexing, don't ask. <laughs> so, no, I mean, look inside of direct sales network marketing now for 20 plus years so prove it was not our first company prove it wasn't the only thing i've ever done i always had a little bit of success but nothing like this and look i think you just got to swing the bat swing the bat be in the arena as they would say doing the right things long enough or do even doing anything long enough and eventually good things are going to happen so you know 20 plus years in the profession prior to prove it and it's been an incredible, incredible run. And I think, look, I don't, I don't know of any industry out there that can achieve the things that we've been able to achieve with our team. Um, and now living here in Central America, just up the road in Nicaragua for the last almost two and a half years. And so what I would say to anybody is like, look, just fall in love with the helping people, fall in love with the whole pursuit of better and be at it long enough for good things to be able to happen to you. And, we were not an overnight success. It's literally 20 years prior to proof. The good news is I don't think we'll take you anywhere near 20 years here because what we have is just, you know, I think infinitely better than a lot of stuff out there. So, yeah. The, one of the neatest things, like, and, and I, don't, I know I haven't told you I appreciate it about you as much as I do, is you just know what you want. Most yeah. people don't spend enough time thinking about what they want. This whole weekend we spent... Now, day six, what do you want, dude? What do you want? What's the vision you have for your life? When I met him seven years ago, that first call, he's like, prove it, dude, send me some. I had to get Joe Willingham to get him to you because he lived in Dallas. He got a couple facts. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy to think. He saw a Facebook post that said, you know, I feel like I took the limitless pill. This shit's fire. And that's how you got introduced. Yep. But, like, you know, maybe speak to just having the... The vi developing vision, fine-tuning it, crystallizing the view of it, even moving the Nika and surfing yeah. every day, getting a razor and literally throwing the board and the dog and the boy in the back. Like yeah. his, his wife's right here. Say hi, babe. 
<laughs> his son's running around with my son literally in the jungle literally uh yeah. hopefully with some adult but uh <laughs> i mean that's got to just it's make sick. you feel like man if we could do this you could do anything if you can think it you can literally have it what you obsess about you possess so it's how true. does that feel it's got to be cool oh it feels incredible you know now looking back seven years ago i mean truth be told you guys i never made any real significant money until i was about 45 years old and thanks to prove it when i met michael funnily enough i was working at a job on the lake called freedom boat club right i had a vision uh, i had no freedom or a boat now we've got post seven years later how ironic is that right but uh, no look i had a vision i fell in love with surfing in high school, I had the privilege to go to the high school in Australia, where my mom lives. And I always wanted to surf, but my whole adult life, I didn't have the time, I didn't have the money, living in Texas, to go do these surf trips. Now, truth is, be told, if I reverse engineer it, probably could have figured it out. Uh, I'd go see Michael on a weekend in California, we'd catch a few waves. Just a taste of that life, I'm like, man, how cool would it be to one day be able to just have the time, the money, and freedom to be able to just surf. So at 49 years old, you know, we're quote unquote now living the dream down here just north of Costa Rica. Literally wake up when I'm done, surf almost every day. We've now got the boat, fishing, surfing, hanging out with friends and family, doing the things that we always want to do that we're doing here. Um, but it just takes what? It takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of money. So kind of what is that vision you have for your life? For me, it was being able to pursue surfing again. And you know, here I am now at 51 years young and being able to... He's ripped. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> shredded. <laughs> to do the things that I wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, as a result of living a better life, naturally I released 25 pounds drink ketones every day and just live a really good life so i would say to any of you whatever your vision is for life just go for it i mean go for it you know oh look at this I like guy it. look at the boys say hi Jack. hey pal say hi where's jacob where's jacob <laughs> <laughs> these kids are having a blast so no it's uh i'm just super grateful to be back here with these guys and you know seven years of literally you know pursuing better ventures all over the world and it's just cool to regroup with you guys and kind of talk about where we were where we've been and you know also where we're headed where we're headed i watched it in my left video it's funny you say that he he said anybody that says they're self-made is full of shit Amen. and you're looking at two guys that I've never self-made anything. I've never even self-made a jelly sandwich because <laughs> I, I didn't grow the strawberries. It's a team uh, effort for but, sure. But it really yeah. is. I mean, you gotta you gotta sit on the patio and Nika and the porch and watch the waves. Yeah. And just think how blessed a couple of doofuses, a couple of common goofball, you know, dudes like us. Yep. Look how white I am. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I'm flabby and white. At least we're both hairy and ugly. Right. But, <laughs> But you got to sit there and think uh, from a business model perspective, what else could you do career-wise to make the money that people can make, no. but more importantly, have the time freedom. This this resort's empty. Yeah. It's a weekday. It's a weekday. Monday. It is a Monday. Mondays are different now, huh? Mondays are different now. Amen. Yeah, it's cool, you guys. Look, I fell in love with this industry 20-something years ago, and I saw what's possible in this kind of a model and now we're modeling and living it and proving it if you were but it's worth it i mean whatever you've got to go through as long as it takes whatever it takes it's absolutely worth it to be able to do things like this with your friends all over the world and just living your life by design i like it you guys all right jerry madeberg formerly from canada australia <laughs> texas and now the Nicaragua. Mountains, the mountains of Nicaragua here. We'll show you one last view of this. Say hi, you guys. There's crazy Ethan and Lynn. Ethan and Lynn. Yeah. Here's the waterfall. Now we're up above the waterfall. All right, that's one more installment of the better stories. Let's go. Let's go. Let's it's go. worth it, baby. Fight for your dreams. Let's get them in. What are you manifesting? Thanks for sticking around and watching that video. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Smash that bad dog and digest as many of these stories as you can. Our goal is that you see yourselves inside of the stories of all these amazing people. Take inspired action, write your own story that one day I'll feature you on this channel and you'll inspire millions of people from around the world.